Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at using the user rating import feature to be able to import our own ratings into Proform. For this example we're going to look at importing the BSP rank into Proform so that we can use that in the system builder and in other places. Also the data is readily available to us in Proform so it's an easy example. So we're going to go to the exporter and we're going to select the fields that we need to export. So what we'll do is we'll just check on the Proform website to see which fields we need. So if we go to Proform and go to Ratings, go to Importer, and then if we scroll down, you can see we need the course, the date, the time, the horse, and whatever rating it is that we're going to import. So if we go back to Proform, you can see we've got the course, the date, the time, the horse, and the rating is actually the fair starting price that we'll use to, to get our rating. Um, you'll notice that you've got race date and time up here. This is a combined field of date and time in the same field so you don't want to use this one because you need date and time to be separate. So we're going to use here course, date, time and then horse name and fair starting price. And for this example I'll just take data from September 2020 so from the 1st to the 30th I've got the fields that I want I'm going to press export and I'm going to put this into my Proform exports folder and save it like this. Okay, now I've got my export saved to C, Proform P, exports, and then the file name that I chose before. So I can click OK to that and I can go to my exports folder and there's the file. So if I open up this file into Excel. We just need to do a little bit of work on it first before it's ready for use. So we've got the course, the date, the time, the horse, and now our rating, but really the rating here is the bit fair starting price. Now this gives us a bit of a problem which I'll explain in this example here. So if you look at this race, the um, 6.20 from the 14th of September at Wolverhampton, where there were seven runners and the favourite went off at 3.91 and the outsider at 12.88. If we import these starting prices into a user rating field, then Proform is going to automatically rank those for us. The problem will be that it views this number is a rating and it's going to assume that 12.88 is the highest rated horse and 3.91 is the lowest rated horse whereas and so that will apply a rank, ranking of 1 to 7 like this whereas actually the favorite is the one with the lowest starting price and so we want this rank to be the other way around to be able to make that work for us what we need to be able to do if I show you in an example underneath is we need to be able to adjust these prices so that they're essentially the other way around. The way to do this is to convert these into a probability that the horse will win implied by the odds. So if we take the probability, if we do plus one divided by that starting price, then we can see that this horse has got a 25.5% chance of winning. If we copy that down for each of these, then this is the number that we want to import into Proform as our rating and then the ranking will work the opposite way around and that will be the biggest number and then this will be the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7th ranked horse which will happen in Proform automatically. We, we don't need to do anything to make that happen. We just need to make sure we get this number in. So we need to go back to our original data and now convert all of these starting prices into probabilities. So again, if we do equals 1 divided by the starting price, and then if we go down to the bottom of the data, if we drag this down all the way to the bottom, there's quite a lot of rows all the way down to there, and then we fill it down, so fill down, perfect, and then copy this and then replace this here and we're going to paste as values so this if you right click here under your paste options you've got paste values there 
If you don't like to right click, you can go to your paste menu at the top here and choose paste values. It's the one with the one, two, three there. And there we go. So now the this column now contains the probability that a horse will win a race rather than the starting price. So we can get rid of this column here. We just we can delete using the right click menu there. So now we've got all of the ratings we need for all of the horses and we're ready to import them. Uh, the importer doesn't need this first row of headings so we can delete that row of headings. So now we've just got the list of horses with the ratings in the format that's required. So we're just going to use save as. We do file, save as and we're going to keep it in our Proform Exports folder and we'll save it as um, UR4 import and save. So if I just go back to the Proform website I'll show you why we're going to import these numbers into UR4. So if you scroll down here you can see there's a bit of guidance on the rating page that says user ratings 1 to 3 are whole numbers while user rating 4 can be decimal. So this is why we need to use user rating 4 because we've not got whole numbers and user ratings 1, 2 and 3 won't accept these numbers. So we can close this file now and we're ready to start using the importer. So if we download the user rating 4 importer and we put that into our downloads folder and press save and then we can launch that and now it's going to ask us to go and find the file that we want to import. If we don't tick this box here, when we run the importer it will just check the file for us. We want to do this first to make sure that there's no errors in the data. So we're going to press start. We're going to go to the Proform folder that we used before, which is in C, Proform P, Exports, and there it is. You for import and we're going to open that and now it's just going to check these numbers for us to make sure and it will report any errors that it finds here. Okay so it's finished looking at the file, the test pass is finished and there have been no errors found in the data. So we can now click this update box, have that checked and we can press start again and we can go from the UR4 import. So we'll find the UR4 import and now we'll run it into the database. So it'll go through the same process again. These Each race will scroll past. Any errors will be reported but we don't expect any errors because we've already run the test pass on this data. So we'll just let this run through. Okay, so now that's done we can go off into Profarm and see what we can do with it. So we'll click done to there and we'll close that down and now we'll go back into Proform. Don't need the exporter now but we would like the system builder so we'll go to system builder. Um, I only put September's data in so I'm just going to use the 1st of the 9th 2020 and then I'm going to restrict by months and just look at September. And now if I go to ratings, speed and user and scroll down under my user ratings by rank for user rating 4, if I enter 1 in there now, that will give me all of the Betfair starting price favourites. So if I do no presentation, no breakdown, if I just look at those horses for that month and run the system, you can see that there were 1,292 Betfair starting price favourites and 412 of them won, so a strike rate of about 31%, which is what we expected. Um, you would have made a loss of 47.55 straight back in all of those. And that's it. That's how you get the Betfair starting price rank into Proform, into user rating 4, to be able to use it within the system builder.